Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to be solving problem 1745, okay? So it says the drop gate at the end of the trailer has a mass of 1.25 megagrams and mass center at G. If it is supported by the cable AB and hinge at C, determine the tension in the cable when the truck begins to accelerate at 5 meters per second square. Also, what are the horizontal or vertical components of reaction at hinge C. Okay, so what we can see over here is that we have like this tra trailer, we got this truck in here with this gate. And what's happening is that there's going to be an acceleration horizontally towards the left, and this gate will, will want to open this way, right? So now my cable is going to have a tension, and that's what we're trying to find the tension in this cable and the reactions at this hinge C. Okay. So let's just start like always with our given. So I'm gonna write out that we have a mass of 1.25 megagrams. And I'm actually going to convert that into kilograms because those are our more used units. So we have uh, 1,250 kilograms when we convert that. Then they're giving us the acceleration, which is five meters per second square. So we have five meters per second square. The direction is towards the left, just so we are aware of that. And I believe that's all. So after this, what we're going to do is that we're going to draw a free body diagram. So let's do a free body diagram of what's happening in here, right? So of course, we're going to have our uh, gate like this. Let me draw it a little longer so we have our gate and what forces do we have well we have the force of the tension of the rope right so i'm gonna draw it like this as my force t they're giving us that it's in an angle of 30 degrees with respect to my gate we also have the forces of the hinges right so we will have the hinge will have some reaction forces that we are going to call Cx for in the x direction and Cy for the force of the C in the y direction. They are giving us also these distances that I'm not going to write in here just so we don't get very confused. But what we're also going to do in this trick, in this problem, is to find out some of these important angles. And what are those angles? Well, if I had my X and Y coordinate, what are the angles of these forces? Well, the angle of this force and this force is obviously like 90 degrees, they're vertical. But what about this tension T? Since we have 30 degrees, but it's with respect to our, um, our trailer, right? So let's find that out we're giving the 45 degree angle but from the base so from the vertical axis to the base of this hinge so if we zoom in a little closer in here now we can see it more clear and we draw our x and y coordinates that means that we have 45 degrees from here to here and the remaining has to be another 45, right? Because there is 90 degrees between the X and Y axes. So meaning that this over here is also 45 degrees. And why is that? Well, because there is 90 degrees between here and here. Now we have 45 degrees. The remaining will be another 45, okay? So now that we have that, we're going to write it over here. So we got 45 degrees. And the other one that we want to know is, well, what about my tension T? What is the angle in regards to my X and Y um, axes? So we know that from here to here is 30 degrees, right? Now, if I were to draw a, let's call it an X prime axis, this remaining angle that I'm gonna do in green will have to be in uh, 15 degrees. And why is that? Well, because we have 45 degrees from here, from our horizontal to here. That means that this 
overall angle will be another 45. And since we have 30, our remaining will be 50 degrees, okay? So those are very important angles that we will be using later on. What other forces do we have in this uh, problem? So we know that we have a center of gravity at G. So we have G over here. And at our center of gravity, we're going to have some weight. So we're going to draw our force W, that is weight. Now, this weight is known because we have our mass. So what we can do is calculate it right away. So we have the weight is going to be equal to my mass times my gravity. And if we plug the numbers in, we're going to have our 1,250 kilograms multiplied by 9.81, which is gravity. And if we plug this into our calculator, we will have a total of uh, 12,262.5 in newtons, okay? So the next thing that we're going to do is do some summatory of forces, summatory of moments, and find out these remaining three uh, unknowns, okay? So the first thing I want you guys to know notice is that if we were to do a summatory of moments around my point C in here, the only force that is unknown will be my tension T. So for that reason, I'm going to start with the summatory of moments. So we're gonna do summatory of moments around my point C. We're going to assume that going counterclockwise is positive. And this has to be equal to my uh, mass times acceleration on my point G, okay? So what do we have? Well, the first thing I know is that I don't care about C because they're at zero distance with my uh, point C, right? So again, we let's just start with T. So with T, we will have T multiplied by the sine of 30 degrees. That will be the total force. And I can explain this later. And we will going to multiply it by the distance with my point C. Well, we know that from here to here, given in here, is equal to 2.5, right? So we got the addition of these two. So 2.5 meters. Now you're going to ask, like, why is this multiplying, this tension multiplying by the sine of 30? So what I'm basically doing is decomposing this force into a 90 degree force with respect to this gate, right? And why can I do that? Well, we can imagine of this being a decomposition in this way of like two forces that are equal to my tension T. So this is just a little trick again. And why only I care about the 90 degrees force, like the, uh, the, uh, the force that is a 90 degrees with respect to my gate, because the other force is coming in this direction, right? So we have two forces, one like this and this one, will be passing to my point C. Okay, so that's a little nice little trick. So we don't have to decompose this into TX and TY, and it will make our process way long, way more long, okay? Now, the tension will want to rotate me counterclockwise, so we have a positive. The second force that we have is our weight that is going down, so it's gonna do a clockwise, which is negative in our case. So we're going to have minus, then uh, we have our force, which is 12,262.5. And we're going to multiply by the distance. Well, what's the distance between my point C and the line of action of W? Well, it's this distance from here to here, right? And we know that over here is our hypotenuse. Therefore, we're going to have our 1.5, right? So a 1.5 multiplied by the cosine of our angle. And this is our angle. 45 degrees okay now this is going to be equal to our mass which is 1250 kilograms multiplied by our um, acceleration which is going to be 5 meters and um, 
we're going to then solve for t. So if we solve for t, we're going to have this equal to our <clears throat> 12,000 to uh, our 1,250 times 5 and then oh sorry so we forgot in here the distance this is um, the summatory of moments so we need a distance d in here so what is the distance of this acceleration so our acceleration is actually going towards the left so that line of action with my point C will be the sign, right? So it will be this opposite of this angle in here. So we will have 1.5 multiplied by the sine of 45 degrees. Sorry about that, guys. So we got our 1,250 times 5 multiplied by 1.5 sine of 45 degrees. Okay. Then we're going to add up our 12,262.5 multiply by 1.5 cosine of 45 degrees and all of this we're going to divide it by our 2.5 sine of 30 so we got 2.5 times sine of 30 degrees okay and if we plug this into our calculator we're going to find out that our t value is equal to a thousand uh, 15708 newtons and we can round this up into 15.7 kilonewtons if we convert into kilonewtons okay just like that we found our first answer for this problem the next thing we're going to do is just basic, basically summatory of forces in the x and y direction so let's just start with that so we're going to do summatory of forces in the x direction we're going to assume that going to the right is positive and this has to be equal to my mass times my acceleration at g in the x direction okay so what forces do we have in the x direction well we have positive cx so let's write that down we got cx minus t but the x component and if we look in here we have that t looks like this compared to our x prime axis so we can do that times cosine of 50 degrees and I believe that's all we have in the x direction so w doesn't have anything this doesn't have anything we include this one and this one so that's all we have this is gonna be equal to my mass which is 1250 multiplied by my acceleration in the x direction well my acceleration is towards the left right therefore that's negative 5 all right so now that we have that we're going to solve for cx and we're going to have negative 1250 times 5 I just moved this negative to front and then we're gonna have plus t which we found to be uh, above which is 15.7 K multiplied by the cosine of 50 degrees 15 degrees in here and if we plug this into our calculator let's see how much we get we get a total of 8,923 newtons and if I convert this into kilonewtons we will be getting 8.92 kilonewtons okay that's our answer for CX so we found our second answer and finally we're going to do a summatory of forces in the y direction we're going to assume that going up is positive and this has to be equal to my mass times my acceleration and my point g in the y direction okay the good thing about this equation is that well we are not accelerating in the y direction therefore this goes equal to zero just so we are aware right so we have our truck in here but it's moving towards the left it's not moving up or down okay so what forces do we have in the y direction well we have cy oops so we have cy we got the weight and we got our component of t so let's just start with that so we got cy minus my weight which is 12,262.5 
and then we're going to have minus t sine of 15 degrees and this all has to be equal to zero again y 15 degrees so it's because of this angle in here our y component will be in here so we have that and um, we're going to solve for cy that's going to be equal to 12,262.5 <clears throat> plus t which is 15.7 kilonewton just so we are aware also guys in here is kilonewtons i'm putting the total of 15 um 708 in the calculator just so we don't get confused we're gonna do the same thing in here actually so we don't get confused so we get 15 708 multiplied by the sine of 15 degrees and if we add these two guys up we get a total of 16,328 and if we convert this from newtons all the way to kilonewtons we'll get 16.3 kilo newtons okay and just like that we found our third, pro third answer for this problem so i hope you guys uh like this video please subscribe like and i'll see you guys in the next one